Alrighty, so we are talking now about our next fuel consumption. Ah, three, two, one. Alrighty, so we are talking about the next rate in this series. This is going to be fuel consumption. So when you get in your car, when you start to drive somewhere, you are going to obviously use fuel. And there is a rate associated with each individual car. So some rates have a low fuel consumption, so they can go further on less fuel, whereas others use more. So in order to work with this, we need to somehow come up with an expression for how to find fuel consumption. Now, this type of fuel consumption, I'll do the first bit before. This isn't exactly the rate we're gonna be working with, but I want to build up to it. So fuel consumption, we measure it by the amount of fuel in liters divided by the distance traveled. So because it's fuel consumption, it's fuel per distance traveled. So and our distance traveled is in kilometers. So with cars, however, this would be what I've given here is an amount of fuel, for example, liters per kilometer, per one kilometer. But when you go and buy a car, typically the fuel consumption rating on a car is measured in liters. The actual fuel consumption is liters per 100 kilometers. So to get from liters per kilometer to liters per 100 kilometers, I'm actually going to do this here. I just want to multiply this by 100. So this is going to give me liters per 100 kilometers. So let's just think about how this will change our equation up here. This guy here is going to change from, let's copy that down, paste here. To find this fuel consumption, we are going to take our amount of fuel in liters and we're going to divide it as well by the distance traveled. But the next thing we do is we multiply this by 100. And this guy over here, this will be the formula that you will likely see in your textbooks. But we are trying to understand how this works, of course, like with many other things in this channel. So I gave you a longer way to sort of show this, but this way we can kind of see that it's still just a regular rate like we're used to. We find some liters per kilometer by dividing the amount of fuel by the distance traveled. And for liters per 100 kilometers, that's just gonna be 100 times what we found over here. So this is how we get to this particular formula for finding fuel consumption. Now we're gonna apply this to one question now and then a trickier one a little bit later. So we have a medium sized car traveling 850 kilometers using 78.2 liters of petrol. Apologies for all this stuff on the side. I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of it, but I can't. So try not to get too distracted by these things in the bottom right corner. Okay, so we have a distance and we have amount of liters used. So we are just going to plug these straight into our formula. So our fuel consumption, we get by taking the amount of fuel times 100 so 78.2 liters times 100 divided by the distance traveled, which is 850 kilometers. Okay, so this gives us a fuel consumption rate of 90, sorry, 9.2 liters per 100 kilometers. Okay, so with that in mind, let's try a slightly trickier question. So let's say someone was driving somewhere using a car with a fuel consumption of 9.6 liters per 100 kilometers. And the distance 
was um, 278 kilometers. This is a distance via the highway. And we also have a distance when we don't take the highway. So say a scenic route or if you wanted to avoid tolls. Our distance avoiding the highway is, what do I have here? 363 kilometers. Okay, so we also have, because this is when you get to these harder questions, we have extra rates associated. So we have a cost of petrol being 68.5 cents per litre. Or 0 0.685 dollars per litre. Okay, so with this in mind, we are going to perform some calculations. So the first one, we want to figure out how much the trip will cost via the highway. So this is a kind of multi-part thing. We know that we use 9.2, sorry, 9.6 liters for every 100 kilometers. So using the highway, we, we want to first figure out how many times does 100 go into 278 because that's going to tell us how many liters we are using so the first part of this we want to take our 278 and divide it by 100 and this will give us 2.78 and this thing here because it's nine sorry 9.6 liters for every 100 kilometers we want to take that and multiply it by this number here. That'll give us how far, well, sorry, how much petrol we use in 278 kilometers. So I wanna take this next bit, I wanna go 9.6 times 2.78. This will give us an amount in liters. So we go 9.6 times 2.78. That gives us 26.8. 6.88 liters and I want to apply the cost to this because I have a cost of 0 0.685 dollars per liter so I want to to this cost do 0 0.685 times 26.688 liters and this is going to give me my cost. So my cost is gonna equal, multiplying these two together, gives me, rounding off to two decimal places, $18.28. So let's just recap what we've done here. In order to find this, we have, apologies for these things in the bottom right, it's getting a bit annoying, I might wrap this video up shortly. In this, for this distance on the highway, I've been given 278 kilometers, and I know that I go 9.6 for every 100 kilometers. So to get that, I wanna figure out how many times 100 goes into 278. That tells me how many liters I'm gonna use. And we can even sense check this, 9.6, if we just times this by two, that'll give us how far we go in 200 kilometers. And that gives us 19.2, and then the 0.78 brings us to the remaining bit over here. And once we do that, we times our fuel consumption, our cost per liter, 0 0.685, by that to get a cost. So this is how we can approach a multi-step question like this. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.